Today, we're going to configure application restriction policies. We're going to configure App Locker, and we're going to start off by creating an App Locker rule. Let's go to Tools, Group Policy Management. Let's expand the Practice Labs domain. Right mouse click on Default Domain Policy. Edit. Let's expand Computer Configurations, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Application Control Policies, and let's select App Locker. Let's right click App Locker. Select properties. In the executable rules, we're going to select configured, then click OK. Let's quickly take a look at the text here in App Locker. It provides access control for applications. So, App Locker uses rules and the properties of files to provide access control for applications. If rules are present in a rule collection, only the files included in those rules will be permitted to run. App Locker does not apply to all editions of Windows. Configuration Rule Enforcement For the App Locker policy to be enforced on a computer, the app application identity service must be running. Use the enforcement setting of each rule configuration collection to configure whether the rules are enforced or audited. If rule enforcement has not been configured, rules will be enforced by default. So let's go back to App Locker and expand it. Notice we have our execution, executable rules. Let's right mouse click on it, select it right mouse click on it create new rule let's go ahead and click next permissions we're gonna leave the default and we're gonna deny everyone let's click next on the conditions we're gonna select path notice it allows us to select publisher path or file hash next let's browse to the file that we're gonna deny That's the command prompt. Next. We'll keep these at the defaults and we'll go ahead and create it. It's asking us if we want to apply the rules now. We'll say yes. There you have it. Deny everyone to the CMD to come. Our next task is to set up App Locker dependent services. So we'll select System Services, then Application Identity, right mouse click, Properties, define this policy. We're setting it up for automatic startup and click OK. Let's close GPME. Go to Server Manager, Tools, then Services. Notice that Application Identity is not running. We'll right mouse click on it and start it. Let's close out of Services. Right mouse click to start Charm. And we're going to restart this domain controller. Let's reconnect to the DC. Let's 
right mouse click to start charm select command prompt and notice you get an unspecified error because the app locker policy is in place let's configure software restriction policies these may be used as an alternative if some of the Windows clients are not compatible with app blocker let's go to tools group policy management to expand the tree we're going to be working in the marketing OU let's right mouse click create a GPO on this domain and link it here we'll call this one marketing software restriction policy let's click OK expand marketing right mouse click our new policy and select edit so we'll go user configuration policies windows settings security settings software restriction policies right mouse click new software restriction policy click on additional rule right mouse click on it select new path rule we put in the path for Internet Explorer its security levels disallowed click OK so there you have it Internet Explorer is disallowed so we're back in software restriction policies select enforcement right click on it go to property and we're gonna select all users except local administrators click up and let's close out of the editor let's verify the software restriction policy for Internet Explorer let's go to our Windows 7 box I'm going to need to switch our user let's log in as Lisa try to open Internet Explorer and it will not open let's try again so the application flashes then closes itself and that shows us that our restriction is working be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.